So we're gonna get into much more detail later on as far as the physics and what your center mass is doing relative to the center pressure on the ski. But for now, we're gonna keep this simple. Athletic stance means that your shoulders are over hips, hips are over feet. It's a little different than a normal athletic stance. In most sports, athletic stance means something to the effect of you're prepped and ready to move in all directions equally and deal with any kind of input that's coming in from either your feet or from you know your upper body in our case it's the rope as soon as you have a handle in your hand and then you try to assume that athletic position that is normal for most most people you end up doing this move right here where we drop our butt and we assume this athletic stance the problem is this isn't the most efficient way to water ski and you can see my skeleton is not aligned and at the end of the day most people are in a position where their front foot isn't even pushing on the ski. Have you ever seen a water skier take their front foot out and ski around on their back foot? Answer is no. That's because the back foot is not the right place to stand on the ski. But you have seen people take their back foot out or they would start with their back foot out and only be on their front foot. That's a good indication that the front foot should be the dominant foot as far as taking pressure through the bottom of the ski and directing that through your body. Okay, so just keep that in mind as we move forward through this pyramid. Brace dynamic, glutes on, knees slightly forward, ankles flexed, arms low and straight, and I'm actually engaging, I'm bringing my shoulder, I'm not letting my shoulders get pulled forward, I'm pulling them back to neutral, and I'm engaging my lats, which is kind of this pull down position right here. So that's the position, and you can kind of tell that as I close that hinge, I call this the hinge right here, as I close that hinge with the lat pull down, it pulls my hips and pulls my body even more forward. And what that does is every time I do this move like this, and I do this to set up to pull out for the gates or to pull out to drop at the end of the lake, which is a great place to practice by the way, because there's no buoys coming at you. Every time I do this lat pull down right here, it flattens my ski tip out and it gets the ski in a more efficient position as well. Everything that we're talking about, the main goal is going to be efficiency of movement. Unload your body as much as possible. In other words, we want, we want to ski forever. Take it from me, I've had some injuries. Those injuries have kept me off the water for quite a while at the elite level. Part of that was because I was skiing like an idiot. I was skiing too hard and I didn't have my body stacked properly. My body was tight, my hips were tight. And a lot of you out there are going to really enjoy Jenny's side of the programming for this very reason. Because to get athletic stance, oftentimes, if you don't have hip mobility where you can open your hips up all the way without arching your low back, it's gonna be hard to get into that athletic stance position. We'll talk about this moving forward, things you can do to make it easier to get into athletic stance. If you have tight hips, that's gonna make it hard. If you have tight ankles and you can't move your knees forward, then the only other way to get your body forward is to do this. And some people do that in this broken position here instead of here. Jamie Bull, one of the best women skiers in the world. One of the main reasons is because of her athletic stance. You'll see here, you draw a line of the platform she's riding, her ski, and you draw another line from her front heel through her middle of her shoulders. You can see that on the acceleration phase through this first whitewater part, she is essentially at a 90 degree angle to her ski. This is Corey Vaughn, uh, again, one of the best skiers in the world. This is very short rope, and I wanna show you this example for a reason. You can see, it's not the best turn for, for Corey, 39 and a half off, but for those people out there who think that you've gotta have the perfect approach to the buoy, this is gonna prove you wrong. Corey is one of the best in the world at this move right there. So you see how he came out of the buoy, he fell off the back of the ski a little bit, but athletic stance saves the day. And that's what makes him one of the best in the world is he can always find his athletic stance with his shoulders over his hips and his hips over his front foot, he can always find that stance at the drop of a hat, just like that. Even though it's the most fundamental element in the pyramid, it's still crucially important at the elite level, not only at the beginner level, but at the elite level for this very reason, because the best skiers in the world can make up time if they make mistakes, because they know they can find that athletic stance, which ultimately gets them speed and angle. And because of that, they're less anxious about making mistakes and therefore they make less mistakes. So even though this is the bottom of the pyramid, the foundation, if you will, this is something that the best skiers in the world, most of them have mastered. And that's why no matter what ability level, you can always go back to this first fundamental athletic stance to try to recalibrate yourself and improve your skiing.